Welcome to Collection Connection. I'm Dave Tigerman Smith. Nate the Great. Uh, we're doing a uh, review of the Gigasaur uh, Gutter. Master Robots HQ03. Yeah. Um, or other well, otherwise known as the uh, third party snarl of the Dinobots. Uh, I want to start off by saying this is what every Dino Shop bot should be. Absolutely. Um, hands down, as far as third party figures go, this has been the best one I've seen so far. This uh, really, um, really made Masterpiece look bad. Um, this Dinobot can kick any other Masterpiece's ass. Definitely. Um, you can see from the sword, which actually has a, uh, let me get it out of his hand for you. It actually has a uh, plastic fire that goes around it that looks like it's blazing, which is actually a really cool accessory. Uh, the sword does light up, but because we're in the U.S., it's um, the batteries didn't come with it for uh, shipping reasons, which isn't really their fault. It's just the law that they had to come by. Uh, it also comes with a uh, blaster gun which also has fire coming out of it as well. These two fire attachments here, you can put the sword into. Also has a shoulder cannon that could connect either to the sh back of the shoulder or it could uh, connect to the arm or be possibly held in the hand. And like Dave was saying, it's got the detachable fire attachment to it. All of these guns, um, light up. they're equipped with a, they, they can hold batteries to light up. The shoulder cannon doesn't, but it's got itself nice articulation. Yes. This one does not shoot like the Dinobot version did in the G1 Transformers. But it's a nice little tribute to it. Okay, the figure itself. It's got some, definitely got some die cast in it. It has some it girth. Is, it's some got weight. some girth, some weight. It's heavy. Okay. A um, little bit of a ball socket on the head. Fully articulated shoulder, elbows, fingers, all five digits. So he can throw up all the different weird uh, symbols, symbols and, and whatnot. He and can also flip you off. He can flip you off, but we're going to keep it G-rated. Much G1 to one rated. <laughs> much to Dave's chagrin. Um, Great click joints, good clicks on that. The knee, good solid click joints. It's got, it doesn't really have a waist rotation. That would be the only point that it's lacking. But I mean, this thing. Well, in order to transfer into the robot, you do have to twist the waist all the way around. So, open that up for bombs. Um, from behind, it's got the Stegosaurus spikes, the tail, and it's just good, beefy, solid quality quality figure. We're gonna do a couple of uh, bring some other figures over here just to show you the size difference. He totally dwarfs. Year of the Horse, Optimus Prime. Dwarfs, Acid Storm. And then you get into the basic Autobot figures. Prowl, Bumblebee, I mean, he could totally just stamp on Bumblebee. 
Also, I think we should probably uh, throw in King Grimlock, leader of the Autobots. I mean, the King Grimlock is a great figure itself, but he could totally just fit inside just the size difference. Now, this could possibly be up to scale as well. He was a little bit of the beefier Dinobots. So it depends how you want to look at it. If you want to look at it like it's a little bit too big, you can. I like to look at it like it's to scale. Okay. So taking a look at the box, um, the box is pretty sturdy. The box is what actually made me really get this figure. Um, I saw the figure. We've got the animation on front. Yes. Uh, with pictures of the uh, actual figure in action, as well as the dinosaur transformed and the lava and all the fire effects. But it also gives you on the back the pictures of the actual figure. The two different heads that you can change and change the faces on it. All the different accessories. And a uh, great box. It is. Uh, like I said, this is what Masterpiece should be striving to be. Uh, this was Gigasaur's first release, and it's amazing. Okay, so now we're going to uh, pause for a quick second and transform it into... Um, Dinosaur. Dinosaur mode. So we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, as you see, we transformed it. Um, it's really cool. Uh, it has some tail articulation. You know, the head moves. There's a little uh, flamethrower inside. Take a look at that. Um, he comes with the little flame shoes that you put on there. So it looks like he's running and causing fire. Which is cool, and as a uh, throwback to uh, the G1, actually comes with clear plastic, so you can actually make it look a little bit more like it. Which one comes right there, and the other goes right on top. Which is really cool, gives you like kind of a little bit more of a G1 feel. On me, I personally, uh, really isn't really interesting to me. Um, as I say, this is how Dinobots should be. Uh, including Masterpiece, including everything else. This is just all out my favorite Masterpiece as of yet. And it's third party. And right when you pick it up, you can feel the, the weight. Oh yeah, this thing's heavy. So I'm definitely going to give give this a 10 out of 10. Ten out of ten, huh? So it's perfect? I as close as perfect as you're gonna be able to get with plastic. Without having a real Dinobot, I think this is as close as you're gonna get. Awesome. What do you think, Nate? No, I like it. I think it's great. Um, the articulation's cool. I mean, it's girthy. It's got the die cast pieces, the the, the animatronics and whatnot. I want to roll with nine five, and I'll tell you why. All right. And nine five's great. I mean, out of yeah. ten, but I'll tell you why. The uh, the wiring in these swords, it's kind of fragile. So we took a look at it to see what batteries fit and whatnot. And the wiring of the swords is kind of fragile. But, I mean, it's awesome. But I think it could have been... Better if they had better a, wiring. Yeah, just a little bit yeah. tougher. All right. Because it's, it's, really, it's really fragile, the, the wiring that makes this whole thing go. And my advice to you would be to not even put batteries in it. Yeah, even that, I'm not going cool, to. Just because... Just taking those things apart. Which makes it kind of a wasteless feature. But I think 
the um them adding the the fire that connects the sword and the gun, I think that more than makes up for it. Absolutely. All right. So if you get a chance, check out the Gigasaurus Master Robots Gutter. Um, price point, it's on price point with uh, it's on par with the other masterpiece yes. transformers that are yes. out there. About two. Yeah, about two hundred. But I mean, you get so this much one. This one's it. worth it. This one's absolutely worth it. We're gonna be doing some other Dinobot videos that did, which kind of fell a little bit short for that price point. Uh, like I said, this is how every Dinobot should be, and that means masterpiece or whatnot. Excellent. So. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we're looking forward to seeing you soon And uh, in our next uh, Dinobot video. Dinobots, roll out. Roll out. Collection Connection, out.